Food Change for Europe is a European uh, project where regions, policy makers, NGOs, uh, private sector parties work together to learn from each other and to foster new ways to improve the regional food chain. This week we have the Flevoland peer review in the Interreg project of uh, Food Change for Europe. And the focus in our peer review is about shortening the change. Uh, farmers who are willing to get closer to the consumers and bring their products to the market themselves instead of selling it to big companies. And what we're trying to learn is how can uh, we help the Flevoland entrepreneurs and how can we as a province of Flevoland be most effective in it. So today's been really interesting and we've heard a lot about Flavorland and the province and how, it's, how it works and the kind of schemes that they have planned. It's, it's given us good context to bring forward to our visits um, for, the, for the rest of the week where we can frame all of the questions that we're going to ask and get the most out of the information that's provided. This week we will visit a lot of companies in Almere and Dronten. In Almere we will visit a brewery, Stadslandgroep De Kempaan, the Urban Greeners at the Floriade site, Stai Food Group in Dronten and the Eres University. We started the Dutch Carrot Dog, also Knakwortel, and it's a marinated carrot instead of a normal hot dog actually. I think they should know how easy it is to start something if you really want it. If you have some space, some time, some energy, just go and start. The hard work of the people that are, you know, stealing land from the sea, are producing uh, cities out of the mud. And it's uh, very, very impressive from, uh, from my point of view, coming from a country that it's very beautiful by them, their own. We as Eres University of Applied Sciences are a partner in the project and it's very beneficial for us. We uh, get all kinds of content input for our study programs that we offer to our Dutch and international students. Um, and it's always good to hear from different regions what's going on there and how you can use that information. Well, this morning we received the results of the peer review. Uh, the whole team of uh, peer reviewers uh, has been traveling around the province for uh, about four days. And they have uh, uh, brought some uh, study visits. Uh, and now the results of all this uh, studying was brought to us. Part of the recommendations for, for, from my point of view is to create um, a structure uh, a business support structure to enable small businesses to flourish, to seek advice which is, which is uh, free or fully funded, uh, to help those small businesses become the medium businesses um, of the future. I think the uh, key word here is collaboration. So uh, w if you want a supply chain to, to work, you must uh, put together all the stakeholders and try to uh, make an advantage for, for all of them. So they, they should benefit from the collaboration and have an incentive to collaborate. I think from Tuesday of on already that we are thinking about and more questions coming and think, ah, we can do it like this or we can do it like that. Yeah, and I think that is very great that we find out that we have a really uh, a label and also for Floriade that we have a label coming from Flevoland. They uh, emphasized the fact that we have to work together in the whole region on a shared vision. And based upon this shared vision, we can uh, make some actions to uh, build new networks, networks that create new possibilities for entrepreneurs in the field of agriculture and food processing. We start today uh, because uh, we are in the middle of the process of vision making. Uh, but it's not only about vision, it's also about uh, execution. It's also about how to deliver results on the ground.